Hello, my name is Andrews. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm privileged to, to you know, to have a special interview, right, lined up. We'll be talking to a successful first-year engineering student who has some great insights and advice to share with you. This video is especially for those of you who are joined up for your exams and need a bit of inspiration and practical steps tips. So stay tuned. Without much ado, I would like to leave the ball to my guest to introduce himself. Let's take over. Okay. Thank you. And my name is Estelasia Pablo, and I'm a Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Engineering student. And I read electrical engineering. I'm in level 100. Thank you. Interesting. So can you give a bit background information about yourself as a lassie? Pardon? Okay. As a lassie, please can you give a bit background information about yourself? Okay, I just graduated from Laboni Senior High School in 2023. Yes, and I I got admission into KMEST to read electrical engineering. Yes, thank you. Wow, so you are reading engineering. Do you mind sharing your future goals and aspirations in the field of engineering with us? Okay, so in the I aspire to specialize in renewable energy and and smart grid technology. So my goal is to work on projects that will promote sustainability and reduce our global carbon footprint. I'm particularly um, interested in developing efficient ways of harnessing energy, such as the solar system, the solar energy from the sun, and then energy from the wind. Yes. Wow, bright brains there. Interesting. Okay. So um so you were in secondary school before. I'm sure you had an experience there. Do you mind sharing some challenges you faced while you were in secondary school and how you were able to overcome them? And if you could throw some light on the challenges you might have been faced facing in the university as a first year student or a fresher and how you're be, being able to overcome them. Okay, so... And senior high school, I was part of my school's quiz team. And that 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 alone was was a challenge because I had to learn stuff outside class, outside the normal um, GES curriculum. And it was very stressful. So to to help to help with that, I had to dedicate more hours of studies. I had to I had to be consistent in my studies. And then I also sought out from teachers to help me study and think concepts that were challenging. They they, quite, they explained it well to me. Yes, please. And in the, the university, um, as a fresher, I, I, I saw that the lectures were fast-paced. So you go to class and then the lecturer is bombarding you with a lot of information at a high rate. So the fast-paced study was a challenge in the beginning. But then I found out that when you form study groups and then you interact with your, with your peers, it, it, helps, it helps a lot. Because here yeah, you get to explain the concept to other people. And then that tests your understanding. And it also reinforces your learning and then the understanding of the concept. Thank wow, you. that's amazing. So aside challenges that deals with academics, can you predict some possible challenges that students that are probably in the secondary school sector or in the university might be facing and possible solutions to that. Can you predict any of them, even if you didn't face any of them? Okay, probably imbalance. So when when you first enter the university, you find it difficult to balance your academic work and then your life, as I mean your social life. Yes. So I advise them to to manage well and then let's say schedule schedule their lives make a schedule what to do what not to do when to do this when not to do that and i think that will help in bringing the academic work-life balance wow 
And one, one common trend, it's like the fact of the town is relationships. You know, a lot of time people want to be recognized or uh, because of influence, peer pressure, a lot of people go into relationships, some mature, immature. What's your take on that? Do you think it is possible for someone, you know, as a student to be in relationships and, you know, focus on academics or what do you um what what would you advise or that we sh or students should you know um exclude themselves from relationship um okay. yes, personally i'm not sure i would be able to focus 100 percent of my studies if i'm in a relationship but then it depends on the person it depends on how how you want to be dedicated to the goal, how you are built. So I'll say it depends on the person. I'll, I'll know my love. I can't, I can't stress myself like that. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing yes. you're not in a relationship. Are you sure? Yes, I'm not in a relationship. Okay. I'm not in a relationship. Back. Okay. Fast forward. So what are some study techniques and habits that, you, that have helped you succeed in, firstly, that helped you succeed in your WASI and it's helping you succeed in um, engineering school. Okay. So I developed active learning techniques, so such as summarizing information in my own words. So I learn a concept, I summarize it in my own words, and I teach the concepts to my peers. And I found it very beneficial to join study groups where we could discuss and then solve problems together. And I also made notes for references. Yes, and that, that was that was very helpful. That, that, that helped me a lot. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. So okay, so you did um explain to your friends, you had study groups. That's interesting. So um you know, there's a lot of um this this common trend in the university and in the secondary school. It's most popular here, where we call it um last minute learning students association. I don't know whether you've heard of it before. So then yes. the last minute before they start learning. The, the lambda. <laughs> yes. So how you how what what advice will you give to students that are uh, that that particular you know character is 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 quite prominent in their behavior pattern. So, you know what are some advices you give to them? Because most of them, it turns out they they burn out on the day of examination. They, 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 because they come, they tend to forget so many vital things. So they go there and they are not able to perform. Well. What is your take on that? Okay, so I discourage them from doing that, and I tell them to create a steady schedule that breaks down their material into manageable sections. So they, they have time for studies, yes. And I'll tell them to be consistent about it because you use studying a little bit every week or every day is better than cramming everything in the last minute because you might crash. If you, if you, load, up, if you load a lot of information on a computer, it will crash. But if you take it at a time, if you take it at a time, you're going to see it's going to be smooth. Yes, and they should use variety of resources like textbooks and and um, practice problems. Yes, just to help them, not necessarily um cram everything in the last minute because you might not fully get the understanding of some concepts when you do that. So for you to get full understanding of some concepts, I'd advise you break your times, have a schedule, and then be consistent about it. Wow, so if you have um, a full understanding of concept, it's better to break your break it up and have enough time for that. Well said, but that's but um SLRC. So do you have any final words of encouragement for aspiring students that want to be in the university? Or are you going to be career biased into engineering? Oh no, I'll, I'll, <laughs> okay, so this this to all the um, students in the university. So come to so the thing is life here can be very challenging, but if you if you manage it right, it's going to be incredibly rewarding. I'd advise them to stay curious and be persistent, and then they should not be afraid to ask for help when they need 
And then you should remember that every setback they face, it's 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 another opportunity to learn. They should stay open minded and keep their goals, 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 their goals in mind. And with dedication and hard work, you can actually work. And then you are going to get you are going to get everything to work in in your field. Yes. Wow. Thank you. That's amazing. So um. Esalasi, so we are talking much about the academics. What do you do if you are not doing engineering? What do you do if you are not doing academics? I'm interested. Um, I watch movies and I play games. Yes, and I code. Wow. Yes. So, you know, I know coding is, is a bit of math and engineering. I don't want to go there. No, so okay. My, I'm sure my audience are as curious of, as mine, so as, as me. So what kind of movies do you prefer? For me, I prefer, you know, these action movies or adventure movies. Some of my friends prefer anime, romantic movies. What type of movies do you prefer? Okay, so I I like science fiction and a lot of adventure. Yeah, wow. and, and an anime or two. <laughs> okay, so even if you are not doing um, academics, engineering, you still like science fiction. Interesting. So it has been an amazing time with um, Mr. Esselassi. So Mr. Esselassi, before you go, do you have any final remarks, any shout outs? Okay. So I'd like to reinforce this that um, we should keep our career goals and our goals, not per se career, but then our goals in mind. And you should be mindful about them and be consistent about achieving them. With that, I think we can solve any problem in the world yes because that that that's that's what um the that's what the great and then tenacity is all about yes any shout outs um again okay, shout out to my um boy Selom. yes wow. it's made it's made me proud <laughs> wow, interesting do you know that you were slc is actually um, a colleague and friend to sell on Jandu, he was the second best, you know, um, student in the WASI exams this past year. So they were in the same class, you know, and he also did so well, as equally well as Jandu Selom. All right, so SLS, it's been so wonderful um, having you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your take. You know, we've learned so much. I'm so um I believe that my viewers are blessed as I am. So this has been Andy K um and Andy K U G and I'd admonish you to subscribe, like and share this video. I am sure it's going to bless someone out there as has blessed us. Thank you so much. SLRC. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day too. Bye.